Today, you will be learning how to set up a dual monitor display using a DVI male to dual VGA female splitter. You will need two VGA male to male cables, a DVI male to dual VGA female splitter, a mouse for configuring options after setup, and your power supplies for your PC and monitors. We will begin by properly setting up the connections for the adapter and monitor. You will need to connect one side of each of your VGA male to male cables to the female VGA ports on the splitter. Be sure to tighten the pins on the side to ensure that it stays connected. Once this is done, you can connect the splitter to the DVI port located on the back of your desktop PC. In addition, we will also connect the other ends of the VGA male-to-male -male cables to each respective monitor. Now, you will want to connect the power supply to your PC and monitors. Before moving forward, we want to ensure that our monitors are set to the right input. Change the source to VGA if it has not been done so automatically by your monitors. The image displayed on your monitors may be mirrored if this is the first time connecting your dual display. This is because we must configure how Windows reads and outputs our image. This can easily be done by right clicking anywhere on your desktop and selecting screen resolution. You will be presented with a menu and this is where you manage and personalize your monitor setup. First off, we want to make use of our two monitors, not have a mirror image. This can be fixed by changing to extend these displays under the multiple displays option. As you can see, there are also options to display the image on only one of your monitors. Choose extend these displays and then click apply. Your monitors should readjust to display an extended version of your desktop and now you can make use of both screens. You might notice that your cursor doesn't travel to the next monitor properly. This is because Windows knows there are two monitors, but cannot determine the physical placement of these monitors. We can solve this by paying close attention to these two square boxes with unique numbers on them. These serve as a representation of your respective monitors and can be dragged and dropped to adjust their image so that they reflect their real life position. For example, if my monitor was set up to consist of two monitors stacked one on top of the other, then I would drag the square that corresponds with my topmost monitors to the top, like so. We can figure out what monitor relates to a given number by simply clicking on it. Under the display menu, the monitor's model number will be shown. If you happen to have two monitors of the same model, you can always just apply the current settings and move your cursor around to see which monitor is on the left or right according to window. Moving along, Windows allows us to set the display resolution for each monitor. Usually, you'll want this to be set to the maximum number allowed for best picture. However, if you have any graphics hardware limitations, then you may want to lower your resolution. Windows also gives us an orientation option. Here we can adjust which way our screen displays. This is useful for those who have so-called vertical monitor setup, which is actually just a monitor rotated sideways. By selecting portrait, the image will be rotated, which is reflected in the top pane. Once you fine tune your options to cater to your physical setup, 
click apply and the setting changes should be reflected. The team here at SeaTech City thanks you for watching our video and we hope you learned something new today. Be sure to stop by our website at www.ctechcity.com where you can find the lowest prices on high performance computers and accessories. <laughs>